sharks 20 meters in length, microscopic bacterium, and trees towering 110 meters above the earth may all seem very different. However, all animals, bacteria, and plants are part of the same tree of life, a metaphor used to describe the relationships between organisms. Taxonomists are scientists who work to classify organisms and place them into the complex tree of life. One of those classifications is Kingdom Animalia. Kingdom Animalia is one of four kingdoms in the domain Eukarya. Animalia is the taxonomic group that comprises all living and extinct animals. With the advent of genetic sequencing, scientists can now use new methods of analyzing relationships between organisms. From these scientific advances, scientists devised the three-domain system of classification. The phylogenetic tree of life is an evolutionary model. It classifies life into three domains, bacteria, archaea, and eukarya. The domains are based on the differences in the sequence of nucleotides in a cell's ribosomal RNA. Species that are more closely related share more of the nucleotides making up their ribosomal RNA. Each branch and division represents an evolutionary distinct organism or groups of organisms that share specific characteristics. Archaea and bacteria encompass prokaryotic organisms without a membrane-bound nucleus. Eukarya includes all eukaryotes or multicellular organisms that have a membrane-bound nucleus. Eukarya is divided into four kingdoms, protista, fungi, plantae, and animalia. For historic reasons, we use Latin names for each group. Kingdom animalia includes multicellular organisms with eukaryotic cells that have no cell walls. Animals originated between 600 and 800 million years ago, possibly as the result of symbiosis between different kinds of bacteria. From its origin as single cells, animal life increased in complexity. First, cells clumped together to form the first multicellular organisms. Then, cells within organisms became specialized to form organs. These refinements allowed animal life to exploit ever more ecological niches as it adapted to highly specific environments. We can see evolution's varied experiments with the multitude and variety of animals on Earth. Currently, about 1.5 million species are scientifically described. Kingdom Animalia has many branches on the tree of life. The next level of organization after kingdom is phylum. Kingdom Animalia has close to 35 different phyla. Each phylum shares certain structural and functional properties that separate them from the other phyla. The largest phylum is Arthropoda, which includes all insects, arachnids, and crustaceans. Arthropods are the most successful of all animal groups. They are found in every environment. There are over 1 million insect species alone. All arthropods have jointed exoskeletons and bilateral symmetry, where the right half of the body is a mirror of the left half. The second largest phylum is Mollusca. This includes terrestrial and aquatic soft-bodied animals that often have a hard shell and unsegmented bodies with bilateral symmetry. Worms are divided into three separate phyla, according to body shape and digestive system. Platyhelminthes include parasitic tapeworms. They have flattened bodies and incomplete digestive system with only one opening. Nematoda are roundworms. They have a round body and a complete digestive system with two openings, a mouth and anus. Roundworms are plentiful in soil. And finally, Annelida have a similar body shape as roundworms, but their body is segmented both inside and out. They are called segmented worms. They have a complete digestive system. Humans are found in phylum chordata. This phylum also includes fish, reptiles, amphibians, birds, and mammals. All species within chordata have the presence of a notochord, which is a flexible supporting rod on their dorsal side. The tree of life is complex and extremely varied. Each branch is further divided again and again until it reaches individual species. It is a Herculean task to organize all living things within a scientifically rigorous classification system. As scientists gain more and more knowledge, they have to tweak the system of classification to reflect their new insights.